High in the Cascade foothills of the Yakima Nation, horses still run wild and free. Yakima legends, passed from generation to generation and over thousands of years, have echoed that the horse has always called these foothills home. It is said the horse roamed here even before the Yakima people were created and long before the Spanish brought their horses to North America. Kusi. That's a Yakima word for horse, Kusi. They were here before we were. It's something that's not debated or questioned among our people. It's just something that was waiting here for us when we got here. And like everything else, the animals, the foods, they were all put here first, and then we came last. The horse is used as a proud symbol of the Yakima Nation. The poster artwork for the recent 150-year anniversary commemorating the Yakima Treaty of 1855 features the horse. The wild horse, as well as the culture surrounding the domestication and use of the horse by tribal members, continues to be an important part of the Yakima's culture. The horse is a strong medicine to our people. Um, it uh, brings a lot of spirit and it's a sign of endurance, uh, preservation, uh, preservation of our uh, of our warrior spirits and uh, helps us to remember our our warriors and the songs that go with the horse in our traditional way in our Washit religion the songs that speak of speak of that spirit and so they're, they're songs of our horses and that's how important they are to us the horse herds are so healthy and so strong that they are having an impact on the open rangeland. So they have to water, especially the horses in this area. They, all, they just stay in this area. Uh, they've got to come here to water. And uh, I got a trip wire set up back here. And, uh, Today, the tribe has a program to capture right and there, place and they, they some of the animals with private owners to be used as saddle horses. <laughs> with the pulley, uh, you know, the rock up there. <laughs> they can jump that fence right there. Uh, the backside's just as high over there, and I, I lost two studs out of there Wednesday morning. How do you take a horse that has never been penned up, let alone made to become cozy with a bridle and saddle, and turn it into something even a child could ride? To do what seems impossible, you may need to start with the services of one of the horse chaser families of the Yakima Nation. Every day of their lives a fight. They fight for range, they, they, they fight for mares, they, 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 they fight for a drink of water. Uh, they're running from coyotes, they're running from horse chasers, bears, you eat them year round, you know. And as far as in shape, you can take one of these to any vet in the world and I'll guarantee you, uh, if that that 20 year old back there is in better shape than that uh, uh, Great stud right over there, I'll guarantee you, as far as health, you know, and uh, blood and uh, whatever, you know. Ranchers like Eddie Gunyer and his family will tell you that the horses from the wild, once tamed, are by far the best horses to use for high country riding, hunting, stock herding, or pack trips. When you look at the ground, these little Mustangs will run through this rock and won't lose a hair. Now, you bring a uh, your quarter horse or your thoroughbred up here, the first thing he's going to do is break a leg or twist a bow tendon or twist an ankle. You know, I mean, they, they don't know how to run in this stuff. Now, you're in their backyard, and I'll guarantee you, as far as Seattle slew, uh, these guys would run backward circles around him as far as, you know, uh, up here, you know what I mean? Eddie's niece, Kelsey, is the 2005 Miss Goldendale Rodeo Queen and has been riding horses ever since the first time she could grab onto their manes. I like them because they'll really, they'll buddy up with you, they'll start to trust you if you are nice to them. So I like that about them. And since the wild horse has a strong herding instinct, it will quickly form a tight bond with any new caring family. The Yakima horse chasers are also called upon to provide the wild horses used in the All Indian Rodeo held each year in White Swan, Washington. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the wildest event of the rodeo. It's a wild horse race. All right, guys, let's go.
these horses here are caught in hills. Uh, wild horses are the black reservation. And they never have been saddled or touched. They're, they're wild, and they know they're going to be scared because, you know, the human touching them, they haven't been touched before. And they're trying to get, you know, get the leather on them. They, you know, they're going to be really be wild, and they, they're going to fight you. Winning it. On a clear day facing east, and if you don't try to look too hard, you will see the image of a wild horse naturally engraved by using nearly all the rock and snow of Patu. The image and the mountain is the first to greet each two day on Yakima lands. The image is also there to watch over the wild horse herds as they continue their rightful place in Yakima culture. When you are lost in a fog, in a dark, somewhere in the mountains, wherever, uh, you can find your way home. I was always told by my elders, turn the reins loose, don't try to guide it. It'll take you right to your home, directly. That's the uniqueness of this. The keen sense, uh, you may call it sixth sense, but you know where they're going. They have been called wild horses, mustangs, or cayuses, and they have been roaming the Yakima Nation lands since time immemorial. For Northwest Indian News, I'm Ronnie Washington's reporting.